Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another build video and this is actually a challenge video and it is the 8 sim starter home challenge. Now this challenge was created by the lovely Shona Plays here on YouTube and she contacted me on Twitter and said that she would love to see me do it and since I'm enjoying doing builds I thought why ever not and the challenge is that you have to build a starter home for 8 sims so when you start off with eight sims as your very first household you get 32 and a half is it 34 and a half something like that thousand simoleons so this house had to come within that budget so once you buy potter's spear whatever it's called you can then pop this on and you will have the money for it and basically you have to have the rules is that, that you have to have eight sleeping spaces and you also have to have a place for them to eat so a chair for each and every one of them to eat so yeah it, it's definitely a challenge <laughs> having to build a house big enough for eight sims with such a small budget and trying to make it look nice was a challenge for sure. I'm going to link Shauna's channel down in the description bar below and I would recommend that you check out her video because she was the very first person to do it and also check her out as a YouTuber as well because she's very sweet and she also has some really good videos, um, builds and whatnot. So it'd be definitely good for you to go over there and show her um, some support. So this house then... I decided I want to incorporate green. Now, I don't know what's happened to me recently. I used to hate the colour green with an absolute passion. Like, I literally did hate it. I was like, no, nothing can be green. I just don't like green. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't like the colour but now I seem to be a little bit obsessed by the colour so I don't know if it's as you get older your taste change or whatever but I decided that I wanted to make this house have green in it I don't really know why so I was just playing about with the different windows and doors I wanted to try and make the outside look as nice as possible <laughs> reason being I thought if I can make the outside look nice it doesn't really matter if the inside is a bit bare um, or anything like that obviously this pause part here I was probably texting April. April was probably texting me. So I'm putting in some stairs and a toilet because I always find that most houses now, toilets are near staircases. I don't know why that is nowadays, but that seems to be what it is. And I'm just kind of going about trying to divide up the house. Now, the people that are moving into this house in my story are a mum and a dad and they are two kids. A two, there's a teenager and there's a young child or is it two teens? I've got two teens and then I have the mum's sister and her three kids so that's where the eight of them have came in so um, I've decided that the two young boys, the two twin boys will share a room as well the two twin girls, they're not actually twin girls sorry they're cousins but they'll share a room and the boy will have a room like downstairs on his own type thing so <laughs> this is me going about going oh my god what am I going to do here I don't have a clue this is so small what do I do what do I do but we do manage it we do we get everybody gets a bedroom which is good <laughs> no one's sleeping on the couch which obviously makes it the challenge but I actually really do like how this house turned out and I'm tempted to convert it to a house for you know, less sims, so make the, the bedrooms upstairs bigger and the, the sort of living room down here, make that like bigger as well, because that ends up pretty small. But, 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 I did do the, the seating rules and that's, <laughs> that what seemed to matter in this challenge. So if you do want to do this, and there's me saving it because it is the sims and you know, saving is your friend, saving is your friend. And um, I actually think I went for my dinner at that point. <laughs> sharing all this information so um putting in some wooden floors I really tried to go for the cheapest that you could go for but also wanted to have a bit of variety in there so I just didn't want to slap down like the same old same old throughout the whole house so the front room there is going to be the kitchen diner because there's going to be eight sims I knew I needed a bigger space because obviously the big table so I decided we'd go ahead and do that I had initially split the front two sections of the room. Okay, we're upstairs now. <laughs> I'll tell you when we get back down there. Uh, but just carpeting the bedrooms upstairs and I have wooden floors down the stairs and then I go ahead and design like the walls and things like that. 
Um, just like I say, I tried to use some variety when it came to the wallpaper because I think it's it's too tempting. The good thing is, and this is what I like about The Sims 4, is I think that the wallpaper selection they have is really quite nice because they've given us like a whole bunch of basics and they've given us like white skirting boards and dark skirting boards and they've gave us just plain walls completely so I approve I definitely approve so it's starting to take shape that back room there was going to be the living room and then I realized that there's no way that that could possibly be the living room and here is me out here with the green I was going to have that green and then have the rest white paneling but then I saw that there is green ones and I thought let's Let's go for that because I have seen houses like that, not in the UK, there's no houses like that in the UK, but I've seen some American TV shows and things like that where there has been houses built like that. So hopefully, hopefully there is <laughs> and it's not been, you know, your kind of TV dramatisation. There's me saving again. You'll see that that's definitely a, oh no, that was my dinner. That was my dinner. Chris had came back. He'd got some takeout. So anyway, moving on to the kitchen. So because we had to use the cheapest things, I wanted to kind of put a pop of colour in, which is why I went for the purple. And um, they're not my favourite cabinets by any manner of means, but money was tight. So I decided that that is what we would do. And then, of course, you have to have the move objects cheat on. And I put a fridge in. In my 10-minute build challenge, I actually forgot the fridge, which was just really embarrassing. <laughs> really, really embarrassing. I wasn't sure whether or not I could do one of these numbers, but then I realised it was far too small to be able to um, do that. I'd kind of hoped that I would get the living room in the same room as that, so I have, like, a kitchen diner. But once I put the table in, I realised... It was way too big for that, so we're going to have to make that a full kitchen diner. But it did mean that everyone has a seat, which is good. Which is good. And uh, that is the family that I was using. I was just counting who it was to see what I could do with the bedrooms. So I ended up making the... Yeah, I'm just putting some flowers on there to make it look pretty. We do go back and make it even uh, nicer once we've got the basics in. So, like I say, I'm popping the basics in. This is for the teenage boy, first of all. The basics go in and then we tart it up a little bit. We make it look a lot prettier. Using the cheapest couch, but again, the good thing about this couch is although it is the cheapest couch, you can change the colour quite a bit. And here I am with my move objects cheat and of course make the television bigger because we can at the touch of a button. How good would that be? <laughs> to turn your 19 incher into a 50 incher. That would be awesome. I don't think many people have 19 inch TVs now. I think people have like 19 inch monitors. So I'm just changing the couch to like a dark blue and then having the chair a sort of lighter blue and then putting that carpet in because I thought that carpet is super cute. I have put two bathrooms in because I thought I put two full bathrooms in. I haven't got a bath. So I don't know, does that mean it's not a bathroom? <laughs> but um, I thought uh, definitely if there's eight people sharing the one shower, it's just not going to work. So I put two bathrooms in. To be honest, I think eight people will struggle to share two. But we'll see. We'll kind of see how it goes. Sorry, that's really jerky there. I'm sorry if that makes anybody uh, motion sickness. So I was going to give the parents, the parents, the parentals uh, the bigger bedroom. But in the end, we realised that there's not enough room for that. So this is me working on the teenage girls' room. So the girls are actually cousins. Now this is, of course, just my story. You guys will have your own family and you can really decorate it however you wish. I will upload this house and the family as well to the gallery. I'll upload the house first and then the family. Similarly because the family, sorry, I've, I've still, I'm still sick. I've still kind of got a cold, so... Um, if I, I keep feeling as if I need to sneeze, so if I sound a bit strange for a minute, that's why. I'll upload the family separately from the house because the family is uh, moddy. They have got CC on them, so sometimes the houses can't show up if you do that together, so we'll just do it separately. And a uh, brilliant thing about Sims now is that you they can sleep in that. So beforehand, if that was the Sims 3 and you put a double bed that close, there was no way that they would be able to to deal with that no way in goodness his name so just placing the lights now and then we will be moving on to the part which I like the most and that is trying to uh, tart the place up I actually think that 
and it was okay. I think we actually did better than what I thought we would do. The fact that we could afford to have accessories. I would have liked the rooms to be bigger, but I think the whole point is it's a starter home, so the rooms don't have to be massive, and... Uh, you know, everybody fits in and, and that's the main thing. And I do quite like it and I think I might give this family a go and I might play with them. It can be a bit overwhelming having like eight sims to begin with, but it might be quite interesting. So I've got the coat rack and I decided to put the coat rack under the stairs because most people that I know have a cupboard under their stairs and that tends to be where they keep jackets and stuff. So just putting a nice bookcase in and some pictures above it and now working on the teenager's bedroom to try and make it look a bit more lived in and homely. So I'm putting a poster up, curtains. Then I put the plum bob. I always kind of feel as if that looks like they've won an award at school. So I kind of like doing that. And then, of course, putting the clutter underneath there and the box of tissues. <laughs> I joked with Chris that Willie is a teenage boy after all. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. So, um, with the living room, it looked quite nice anyway, with the blues and things like that. And I thought I just wanted to add a couple of different things in here. Because storage is not uh, brilliant in this house, obviously. So, just putting some books and things and just using the move objects and everything that you can use to make things awesome. So I hope you are all excited. Hopefully by now, I don't know when I'm uploading this, but this is this is Monday night and the luxury stuff pack comes out tomorrow. So um, I'm assuming I'm uploading this on Wednesday or Thursday, I'm not sure. So um, if you're, I don't know when I'll upload it. <laughs> it's late at night, it's like 11 o'clock at night, but I wanted to do this commentary because I've just finished this house. And if I don't, if I leave the commentary till later, I'll forget what I've done and why I've done it. So it's easier for me to do it now than uh, later. But yeah, the luxury stuff pack will be out tomorrow and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having some extra content. I believe it's something like 50 odd items and like if you take into account create a sim and also your build and buy so that should be quite good and then having the the two premium items it does remind me of the sim store somewhat where you have like your your premium content items and i'm trying to remember for the life of me how much it was for a premium content item i can't really remember but i know that this stuff pack it is coming out at like ten dollars which i think is quite good I think that's a quite good price and um, what it will convert to, whether the UK will have to pay £10 or whether we'll get a really good deal on it, who knows. So I'm just tarting up the kitchen diner and putting some uh, curtains up. I moved, I thought about moving the window as you've seen there, but change my mind. And, um, <clears throat> sorry guys. And I'm just trying to figure out different lights and, and how we can make the place look attractive. So I've kind of went in with that light. I have said it before, but I do think it's a shame that the best light that they've got is really quite ugly. Because it is an ugly light. It's not a nice night at all. Added in some pictures to make it look a bit more homely. Uh, I would have liked to have added um, cabinets and things above there, but it just adds too much money. And I thought I would add that sort of chalkboard because that's quite cute and a lot of people have things like that in their kitchen. I know that my mum does, she's got something she puts all the, the stuff on so it, you know she doesn't forget like bills and stuff that she needs to go and pay at the post office. So yes, so I thought I would put a table here. I initially had wanted to put mirrors behind it, which you'll see, but then I realised the mirrors were like 400 simoleons each, like 395 and I thought, screw that, I need that money. So <laughs> I went back to plan uh, B and took it back and just went back to kind of making the bedrooms look a bit better. I don't end up doing much with the parents' bedrooms because literally there is not really enough room. So I'm trying to make the kids' bedrooms look nice. The bedroom I'm working on just now is for two young boy twins so I'm just trying to make this look I don't know presentable lived in I love adding clutter clutter see if they could bring out like a clutter stuff pack let me know in the comments down below what stuff pack or game pack you not an expansion pack but what kind of game pack or stuff pack do you think you would like to see what do you miss um building wise or accessory wise that you would love to see and uh, let me know in the comments down below because i'm interested in that as well also if you want to do this challenge then i would love for you to do it obviously i'm not the creator of the challenge so you know it is shona so if you are uploading it to the gallery and um, putting um shona 
Shauna's name in the comments would be quite cool just to give her a bit of credit and whatnot and obviously going over to her channel and checking her out so this pretty much is coming to an end here I'm just tying things together I was going to go with curtains and then I decided well no I would quite like to do something outside the house so I delete that <laughs> just to get a bit of money and um, I decided to put a tree a tree in. I hadn't seen the tree that had the um, flowers in it before and I was like oh that's super cute so I thought I'd go for that. I've decided to try and do more on the landscaping side of things when I've been building houses so I've been trying to do that rather than just leaving it all uh, rubbish and I'm just adding my my dirt in, my, my usual dirt so we're going in for that and then I think I tro like put some more on, I'm not entirely sure. I think I put another tree up yeah, I tried to do that tree and then I realised it's massive, <laughs> so I can't do that. But anyway guys, I'm just going to wrap this up. So if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a big like on this video because it really does help. Be sure to check out Shona and if you do this, then please let me know and you can put my hashtag in the, live, in the gallery if you want me to check it out. And... Um, and yeah, that's really everything. And also, like I say, leave a comment and let me know what stuff pack you would like to see. But this is the house and I hope you enjoyed my 8 sim uh, starter and uh, I love you all so very, very much. And I'll talk to you very soon. Oh, and I was also putting the door out to the the patio so I could put a, what do you call it? A painting easel. Love you guys. Bye.